Welcome back to Tech Mimic, where you can simply view, imitate, replicate, and get on with your day. If you don't have a bleeding edge or top of the line graphics card, you might run into the GPU memory full error in DaVinci Resolve. For example, it can be reported straight away when you add clips to the timeline or at some later point during any video editing session. The topic of today's video is to go over the various settings and configuration options that you could try. By no means this will guarantee a solution, but you can certainly give it a go and maybe pick up a few new things along the way. If you are aware of another option or something else to check, or if it did or didn't work for you, please feel free to leave a comment. The GPU memory full error basically means that there is insufficient memory to handle the workload you have asked it to perform. An example could be the NVIDIA GT710 or GTX 1050, versions that come with 2GB or 4GB of VRAM, or the AMD Radeon 550. This video isn't about how these cards are not good enough for gaming or video editing, because sometimes it is simply all you have and you have to make it work somehow or find a workaround. Or you just want to try out DaVinci Resolve first, and now you run into the GPU memory full error. Of course, the easiest is just to go out and buy the latest and greatest video card and be done with it, but that's just not always the reality of things. What I'm going to assume, however, is that your system itself is capable of and meets the minimum system requirements of DaVinci Resolve. Resolve seems to be more GPU-centric than CPU-centric compared to other video editors. Also, this video won't be a full-blown DaVinci Resolve tutorial. I won't be explaining what a proxy clip is, for example. I'm just pointing out locations and possibilities in the software that you can research, investigate and try on your own. I'm showing it here mainly on the free version of DaVinci Resolve 19.3 on Windows, and whenever there is an option that is available only in the studio version, I will mention it, and that is then shown in DaVinci Resolve Studio Edition on macOS. Before we continue, let's state the obvious first. Make sure that you are using the latest version of your NVIDIA or AMD software and the latest video card drivers. Make sure that for example in the NVIDIA settings or profiles, your card is in performance mode and not in any form of power saving or power management mode. Make sure that there is sufficient swap space or increase the swap space in the operating system. Make sure that there are no unnecessary running processes that also require video memory. If you need to, monitor your VRAM usage with operating system or vendor specific tooling to see if your VRAM is being used by something that you are unaware of. For example, web browsers are notorious for hogging system resources. Now let's look at a couple of things to try. Click DaVinci Resolve in the top left corner and select Preferences. And select Memory and GPU. There are a couple of options here to check. If the GPU processing mode is marked as Auto, you can try to disable it and play around with any available options. In this case CUDA and OpenCL. You can also try to override the Auto GPU selection if you need to. Make sure that only your actual dedicated video card is selected as a GPU and not your internal or integrated GPU if you have any. If it's not marked as Auto, try the other way around and enable Auto. In this example, I'm showing DaVinci running on an M3 iMac where there is the option to select between Metal and OpenCL. Also play around with enabling or disabling the Apple Neural Engine checkbox. It is also possible to limit the entire memory usage of DaVinci Resolve or limit the fusion memory cache by using the sliders in the memory configuration section. Make sure to restart DaVinci Resolve to pick up any changes you have made. The studio version supports NVENC and coning and it offers this option that is not available in the free version. Go into the preferences and select the decode options. In the studio version there is the option decode 8.264 or 8.265 using hardware acceleration. By default it wants to use the GPU but you can try to disable decoding using the GPU if GPU VRAM is insufficient and let the CPU handle decoding instead. You can also try to lower the entire timeline resolution. With the lower end GPUs, you most likely won't be able to work in higher timeline resolutions, like Ultra HD or 4K. So stay on a 1080p timeline, the default, or even try 720p and then render it up when you need it later. Open the project settings and click Master Settings. 
and under timeline format, time resolution, you can bring it down. You can also try to lower the timeline frame rate from 30 to 24 or even less. Or try to lower the timeline playback resolution. For this, click playback, timeline playback resolution and try half or quarter and see how it behaves. Other things to try are splitting the timeline into smaller segments to reduce memory overhead. Or you could try to disable effects like color grading or disable any fusion compositions and only include them in the final render. You can also use proxy files or optimized media without going into any further details to reduce any GPU demand. This is configurable in various locations in DaVinci Resolve, for example, playback, use optimized media if available, and playback, and then proxy handling, disable all proxies or prefer proxies. Also back in the project settings, under the master settings, and then the various options in the section optimized media and render cache. You can also play around with the render cache in the playback menu, playback, render cache, and then select non, smart or user. You can delete the render cache. You can manage the render cache and you can also manage the fusion render cache. Lastly, you can right click a clip on the timeline and render the cache yourself. And that's it. As mentioned before, if you are aware of another option or something else to check, or if it did or didn't work for you, please feel free to leave a comment. Hope it helped and if it did, please like the video and keep it up. Until next time, bye.